Britney Spears is speaking out after reports of an alleged altercation at a Los Angeles hotel. Paramedics arrived to her door, assuming her hotel room door, uh, without her consent. She uses the word illegal, Hallie, that they illegally showed up. Britney Spears may have gotten out of her conservatorship, but she's still got plenty of drama going on in her life. Just recently, a photo of her outside Chateau Marmont in Los Angeles went viral. The singer was surrounded by paramedics and firefighters, and it looked like it was a big deal. Upon closer inspection, some fans felt she was injured. Just what could have happened? Well, since her boyfriend, Paul Solis, was standing right beside her, a lot of folks thought about the possibility of him mistreating Britney. However, it seems like fans might have misjudged the situation because Spears has stepped forward to clear up the misunderstandings, and it ain't what everyone thinks it is. Just what happened that night? What did Britney say? Did Paul actually abuse Britney? Welcome back to Celebrity Buzz, where we'll talk about how Britney Spears breaks her silence over the LA hotel incident. But before we give you guys the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The photographers caught this moment, the one that you see right here, showing Spears standing outside the hotel wrapped in just a blanket, holding a pillow, at least that's what it looks like. According to TMZ, on the night of May 1, 2024, authorities were called to the Chateau Marmont after they received reports of a woman creating a ruckus at the hotel and threatening staff and guests. And here's the real shocker. According to reports, the woman in question looked a lot like Spears. However, upon arriving at the scene, the authorities didn't find any evidence of a disturbance and proceeded to leave. A shame because they were called back the very next morning after receiving reports of an altercation between Britney and her boyfriend Paul, which apparently left the singer with an injured leg. And since this is the age of the internet, it didn't take long for a picture of the horrific incident to end up on social media. Of course, fans instantly thought that this was a case of mistreatment. A lot of folks were going crazy over the fact that their favorite singer might not be safe with her own boyfriend, especially after they saw her on the streets in her PJs. Oh, and let's forget that Paul has a criminal past, including charges of driving without a license, disturbing the peace, and child endangerment, which made the concerns even more valid. But for everyone sharpening their pitchforks to burn Paul at the stake, hold your horses because he might not be the one to be blamed here. After the storm on social media, Brittany took to Instagram to clear up the situation. And here's what she had to say. Just to let people know, the news is fake. I would like respect at this time for people to understand I am getting stronger every day. Truth sucks, so can someone teach me how to lie? I am reaching my higher power, and furthermore, I hope you guys are too. I need a new toothbrush right now. P.S. I need an espresso. P.S.S. Not sure why I feel the need to share this, I guess I'm just a girl and I am on my period so I'm messy. I also twisted my ankle last night and the paramedics showed up at my door illegally. They never came in my room, but I felt completely harassed. I am moving to Boston soon. Peace. However, even after writing all that, we guess the singer didn't feel like fans believed her. So what did she do next? Well, she came with proof. Spears posted a video of her ankle on Instagram with the caption. I know my mom was involved. I haven't talked to her in six months and she called right after it happened before the news being out. I was set up just like she did way back when. I wish I had grandparents. I can't stand her. I honestly don't care, I will say it. This man is wonderful. He's like a father to me, and he got me through last night. I adored you and admire you, Mr. Matthew. My little foot, you know, and then... <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Brittany hasn't always had the best relationship with her mom, and she talked about it in her tell-all memoir, The Woman and Me. Given their history, it's understandable why Brittany thinks that her mom may have leaked the news about the incident and called the paramedics. Perhaps it was another attempt to place Brittany in a conservatorship? Either way, it explains why Brittany was uncomfortable. It's shocking, to say the least, because on the singer's last birthday, the mother-daughter reunited and fans received reports of them supposedly working to repair their relationship. What Spears went through and the way that she became at the center of this firestorm over her mental health, over her competency, she wrote a book about her experience uh, with the conservatorship. However, even in these trying times, let's be glad that Britney had the support of someone like Matthew Rosengart, her lawyer who stuck by her through thick and thin. 
Britney added his picture in the photo dump too. On that note, it seems like Britney is going out of her way to prove her story, but there's a lot of evidence that contradicts her statement. Other than the fact that she's trying really hard to clear up the situation, there's a report of another guest residing in the hotel hearing Britney scream. That's when they called the paramedics to her hotel room. What's more, according to a source, it wasn't merely a twisted ankle. Instead, Britney and Paul got into a fight and things may have escalated a bit. However, before you start worrying, a source revealed that Britney is hanging in there despite her troubles. According to the insider, Britney had a rough night and big fight, but she is incredibly resilient despite the trauma she endured during the conservatorship. Still, fans are not too sure of Paul. The pair got together back in September 2023. With the dating rumors surfacing on the internet, Paul was naturally questioned about how he felt about Britney and he had nothing but nice things to say about her. So she's a very, very good, positive, <laughs> she's a good person. So maybe he can be trusted after all. On that note, a hotel incident is the least of Britney's worries. She's in the process of divorcing her ex-husband, Sam Asgari, right now and it has been an uphill battle, or was to be more accurate. According to new court documents obtained by TMC, the couple's divorce was settled on the very same day paramedics arrived at the singer's hotel room. Oh, and get this, according to the divorce settlement, Britney will not be paying spousal support to her ex-husband. And neither will Sam. This might be a shock for Sam since the prenuptial agreement he signed with Spears before tying the knots said that he would receive $1 million every two years of marriage and up to $10 million after 15 years. But he called it quits after only 14 months of marriage, which makes him ineligible for any alimony. The pair will be declared officially single on December 2, 2024, the same day Spears turns 43 years old. Talk about a nice birthday gift, Sam and Brittany go way back. The two started dating back in 2017 and Sam went down on one knee in 2021. Shortly after, Brittany and Sam tied the knot in 2022. However, it seems like fate didn't have a happily ever after in store for the couple, with the pair announcing their separation in 2023. But Sam isn't too bummed about the divorce since he posted a life update on Instagram that showed him smiling ear to ear next to his dog. And that's it for today. What do you think of the entire situation? Is there more to the drama? Did Paul and Spears actually fight? Is Britney hiding something? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.